Hey guys, how's it going? It's the Spider Beagle back with another video, and this time also I'll be showing you guys how to mod the main game suit in Ultimate Spider Man. In other words, how to change the suit that is shown in Ultimate Spider Man. Now, first things first, before we get started, you will need text mod that is essential to this tutorial. Uh, without it, you know, everything else just falls in the water, really. But um, yeah, I'll provide links to text mod so you guys can uh, download it and continue with the tutorial. You will also need a decent um, image editing program. Um, Photoshop is preferred, or you know, Photoshop is okay. Um, I'll be using GIMP, but you know, um, pretty much any other um, image editing program that can allow you to edit mods and copy and paste um, image images um, on top of each other. That that is um, that is okay, but you know, um, you know. So let's get started with this uh, tutorial. So first things first, we, what you will need to do is you will need a new folder. Now this folder is going to be named text mod. Text mod. Now what you want to do is you want to open that folder, and you want to create a new folder titled game suit. All right. This is where we're going to save all the textures involving the game suit. Now, you don't have to do um, the next step, but what you could do is you could do CD Ads. This is where you will be saving anything that appears, you know, on top of buildings or just the, the billboards that appear in the game. Um, you can also create a, another folder titled HUD. So this is the map and the health bar and the little picture on top of the health bar as well in the game. And you can also create another folder titled Venom. Now this um, obviously involves the Venom textures. Now um, you don't have to do this. It is preferable if you want, um, if you want to really customize and change the textures in the game. Then I guess you could um, you could do these steps. But okay. So now once these once these folders have been created, um, you close the you close close the folder and move it to the side. So it's out of the way. Now you will open text mode. And you will select the um, exe file of Ultimate Spider-Man. All right. Now you will go in logging mode. All right. And you, what you want to do is you want to make sure that these all these three options are ticked. Uh, except these ones don't pick these because they are ruined the textures that you're, you're trying to save. And the output format, make sure that it's set to PNG, Portable Graphic Network. That will save the texture to the highest resolution possible. And I accidentally unchecked this. Make sure this is checked. Um, and basically what the log with, log with key is, is um, that's a hotkey to save the textures with, um, you know, preferably you want, you want it at F11. And for the output folder, you want the, um, the game suit folder selected. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to go browse. We're going to go to, um, excuse me, we're going to go to this PC, we're going to go desktop, we're going to go text mod. And we're gonna select game suit. All right. Once once everything has been selected, um, you will click run, and that will take you to the game, or that will start the game. And I'll see you guys in the game. Okay. So once we are in game, what you want to do now is on the number pad, you want to hit press. Uh, you want to hit press plus. Plus is for going up. Minus is for going down. I will have pictures on the screen uh, to show you guys what to do. But basically, what you want to do is you want to uh, press plus until you come across. The main suit template so let's see what um what we get also if you guys um do select a new folder to save these textures in you will have to do this process again so you have to go through and individually save the texture you want in that new folder a few moments later the eye texture as well all right so that's what the main suit texture looks like we're gonna go ahead and save that and what we also need is the eye, main eye template. Let's see. Um, the main eye texture. All right, let's see if we can find the main eye texture. Um, I'm gonna see. I got... A few moments later. So. All right, so this is his eyes. All right, you want to go. You want to go ahead and save that. All right, that is that is your texture. So, all right. So once we have saved everything, what you want to do now is you want to exit back in the game. 
uh, exit back in the game. What you want to do is you want to exit the game and you want to um, go ahead and find these textures on your desktop. Okay, so once you have returned to your desktop, you want to open the text mod um, file, you want to open the folder, our main folder, you want to open the game suit folder, and there you have it. Those are the two textures that you have saved. Now, what we're going to do now is we want to transition to um, editing the mod and applying it to the game. So stay tuned guys, um, this is the part where you will need your photo editing program or image editing program. Okay, so now we're using our image editing program or software, I have GIMP. Um, we have the um, current templates open and what we want to do now is we want to get this layer, now this is the Scarlet Spider uh, suit template that is available in the um, Google mod pack, the link will be in the description. But what we'll, we'll, what we'll, we'll do now is we need this over this. Now I will recommend going ahead and exporting it as a separate image. Uh, you could name it like default template or something. Make sure you have a copy of this template just in case um, uh, you, you know you screw something up and you don't know and you don't want to ha have the hassle of going through just finding the texture again. Uh, the same with the eye. Um, with the eye lens texture as well. So what we, what you want to do now is you want to um, select the whole thing. So Control A, and then Control C. You want to copy it, and then Control V. All right. Now when you get this, all you need to do is click the this button, the new layer tab, and that will place it over. Now make sure that nothing is selected, as is here. And what you want to do now is you want to export it. Alright, so now that is exported. Now what we're going to do now is we are going to um, create a new layer for the eye lens as well. So we're going to go eye lens, we're going to create a new layer, we're going to layer, name it eye lens. Just like so. And now what we're going to do is we're gonna, you want to select the gradient tool. Now keep in mind that you want to do the same thing as I mentioned for this layer as well, you want to keep a copy of this um, uh, image and save it as default um, eye template. All right, so yeah, once you've done that, you can um, continue to edit the eye lens. So what you're gonna do now is you wanna click this one in the uh, gradient tool. You wanna click the gradient types. You wanna scroll down until you find the brushed aluminum. All right, now when you click brushed aluminum, what you wanna do now is you wanna want to make sure all right that's perfect already just so make sure you get you know as much shine as you can in the image and what you want to do now is you want to um export that as well so now we're going to see what we uh what we have done okay and as you can see you know um everything has uh been saved and properly edited over and this will be um the suit that will appear in the game now what's important is that make sure you have you don't lose this uh, by it. make sure that this is probably the most important file of the entire tutorial. So what we want to do now is we want to um, go back to text mod. You want to go to package build, all right? Package build. And what you want to do now is you want to find this, all right? So when you click browse, and you want to go to desktop, you want to go to text mod, you want to go to game suit, and there we go. That's what we want to select. Now this is being selected. Now what we will do now is we want to enter your name. So it's Spider Bugle, and now and you want to just basically leave a comment. Ideally, I put the sentence of the suit that um, I am creating. So all all new all sorry, all div right. On your different Scarlet Spider suit, all right. Now, what you want to do now is you want to click Build, all right, and you want to save it on your desktop. Now, you want to name the suit. So, on your different Scarlet Spider suit, and what I'll, another thing I like to do is I like to label USM for Ultimate Spider-Man mods. Now, if it was Web of Shadows, I would go WOS or was. But you know, because it's Ultimate Spider-Man, I'm gonna go USM. All right. So you make so you know exactly which one this is for, and you want to just click save. 
All right, and once you get the message success to textures have been added and once you see this appear on your desktop, you know that um, the mod has been built. Now, um, what you want to do now is you want to click browse and there you can see that the mod has already been added. As you can see, this is the comment that I typed literally seconds ago. And once you know, once you have, um, once text mod has registered your built mod, what you want to do is you want to click run and I'll see you guys in game. And there we have it guys, that is how you change the uh, main suit in Ultimate Spider-Man. I hope, you guys, I hope you, you guys will give this video a thumbs up if it did help. Um, I will try to do more tutorials in the future but as always guys, um, this is once again the Spider Beagle. I hope you did enjoy this video. If you're new, subscribe. If this did indeed help, as, as I stated before, please uh, like this video, you know, share this video with your friends, you know, make sure they know how to mod as well. And as always guys, I'll see you in the next video, hope you guys have a nice day.